Hi, sir. Hi, Alan. Opo. So, yung music po para dito sa concert na to was just uh, given sa inyo or did you have any input? Uh, Thank you. It's naka-package na yan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's already a package. You, you rent the concert. Some with video, some with pieza. Good. So, nandiyan na lahat yan. It's already part of it. There's, there's nothing that I added that's new. It's, it's all nandiyan na. So, parang strict yung ano, parang how you interpret it, how you... Oh, kasi naka-click, naka-metronome eh. Mm -hmm. uh, anytime that you're conducting music for movies or for film, wala ka nang pwedeng gawin doon kasi naka-sukat naka, ano, naka, naka na lahat yan. So, there's really, in fact, I'll have, yun nga, what you saw, all those numbers, ganun, naka, naka, nakabakod talaga yung music. You can't, there's no, there's no freedom in that sense kasi... Hindi ikaw lang eh. You're not by yourself eh. So it's, it's similar to ballet actually. Yung dancers may nakasanayan ng tempo, kailangan mag-conform. Same thing when you're doing music for film. And we've done this a few times before. We did, uh, what have we done for film? We did Ignacio, we did um, um, El Presidente, we did uh, Larawan, we did uh, Alate. We did a lot of films na. And every time we are doing something to video, syempre, di naman gagalaw yung video para sa'yo. It's different. When you're accompanying a singer, a singer can change, can, pwedeng maging organic, kasi nakikit, pwedeng, pwedeng kayong pakinggan ng, ng singer, and then they can follow what you're doing. But in this case, we have to be strict. And uh, you mentioned kanina, parang, and we just put Maurice Rappel. Oh, meron Pero Maurice Rappel. Are all the compositions here parang made uh, specifically for this one? Or meron yung mga yung, ginamit yung na exist? Yung Ravel is from ano eh, uh, concert, concert work na yung Daphne and Chloe. Um, it was extracted from that and put in here. Um, kasi bagay dun sa video eh. The rest of it, there are three excerpts from Daphne from Ravel. And then the rest are composed specifically for for this. And how do you think the music parang heightened the ah, kasi emotion ang, you see from the ayun, images? You said it. Ah, kasi ang, ang, the addition of the music um, injects ano eh, emotional content. Eh. Kasi ang tao may natural emotional response dun sa music na, that they hear. Whether they know the music or not, ano, uh, nakakaroon tayo ng emotional response. Eh. And it's all very personal. Pwedeng yung, yung dating sa'yo is different from dating sa kanya, dating sa kanya, dating sa akin. It's all, it's all very personal. So, because of that, nakakaroon ng ibang layer of feeling para dun sa ano. It's not, it's not just anymore a, a scientific observation, which a documentary usually is. just tells you about what they're doing. The, the, the addition of all this music puts another layer of our uh, experience with the film. It's not just, okay, there's a penguin, he's walking towards his mother, you know? If, if depending on the music, that could be a funny thing, could be a very emotional thing, it could even make you tear up. Depends on the music. And that, that's all up to the intent of the director. Kung ano yung gusto ng director, pwede niyang i, ganun yung audience to feel a certain thing using music. Same thing with films. Diba? The music is there to push the audience over the edge, emotionally. And uh, in the fact po ba na everything is parang, yung sabi niya parang measured, mm -hmm. ano, does it make that more difficult for you? Na... No naman, no naman. Because uh, even in any performance, you already know how fast it's going to be. You don't really depart from it too much. Except with this one, we have guides to make it consistent. That every time we play it, it's gonna be the right. But uh, naman ding wala eh. I mean, there are people who conduct without a click, and just like today, I did it without a click. I was just following the the visual aids. Uh, it depends. Eh. There is music that is within its nature, uh, very measured. There is music that is like that, right? 
I mean, sanay tayo sa kanyan. Pop music is very measured by drums, may ano. It's, it's all very strict. Um, there are other pieces that maybe I'll take off the clip from my ears and just follow the video para may konting room to breathe. Uh, it'll all depend. I think, I think um, it has, it's a decision that, that can only be made by the music itself and by what's happening on the screen. And a while ago, you were talking about uh, conservation, environmental awareness. Yeah. Is this the underlying uh, theme of the, the concert? Or, uh, I think that's, that's what National Geographic is all about. Eh? To let us know about these things. No? The, the, that uh, it, It's to hi highlight the importance of uh, our fellow living things on the planet. Because we're not the only people, we're not the only living things occupying world and everything everything's important and uh, we get caught up in our own life technology that there's other other things going on in the world that we forget about that have such a big importance and maybe you can also compare the ecosystem in the maybe a symphony that you know how to yeah, the, have um, all those parts well um, two things from music rhythm and harmony no uh, you don't have harmony harmony doesn't work if one of the voices is out if it's not there then there's no harmony you cannot have one person uh, one or one one melody line creating harmony you might imply the harmony, but there's no real harmony unless there's something else. Um, and rhythm, there's a natural pulse to nature, and so does music. There, there are a lot of, lot of parallels, naman. And even when we make music, uh, you know, by ourselves, when there's no film, when we make music ourselves, we try to find the natural progression of things, the natural pulse where nothing sounds pilit, you know, even the way we appreciate Popular music, we don't like it when it sounds pilit. We like it when it sounds natural. You know, when somebody sings and they sound pilit, we don't like it. When they sound natural, we like it. So it's, it's just a lot of, there are a lot of parallels that can be drawn. Thank you. Salamat, Anna. Sir Gerald, parang this is a different concert, na parang this is first time dito sa Philippines na may ganito ba? First time po. Uh -huh. Hindi, ano eh, kasi kadalasan, ano eh, parang, solely entertainment mm -hmm. lang eh, mm -hmm. diba? At least this one has a different uh, a different angle to it, a different layer. Who are the target and the uh, market dito sa concerts na to? Concert. Lahat eh, lahat eh. Um, it's anyone who who can who can care about the world. And that's that's it and, and that's everybody. Walang ano eh. Kasi hindi naman language uh, limited, di ba? Dahil music lang. Tsaka, may mga interviews in English, pero kokonti lang eh. So, it, there's, you're not limited by language. You're not limited by knowledge. Nothing. You just come, you see what's on the screen, and you get hit by the music. Mm. So, there's no no prerequisite. Walang, of course, you have to be able to buy a ticket. Yun la. <laughs> but, I mean, other than that, uh, there, are no, there are no prerequisites eh. Kahit naman sa classical music, wala namang prerequisite. Di ko alam kung bakit or saan nagsimula yung feeling na I cannot watch, I cannot listen to classical music kasi hindi ko siya alam. Or hindi ko siya naiintindihan. Hindi naman totoo yun. It's not meant to be understood. It's just meant to, to go in and create a feeling. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, we're just curious kung paano nagsimula yung collaboration between you and National Geographic. Ah, si Tito Bobby ang may pakanaan nito eh. Tito Bobby Barrero, he's the one who wanted this. He's the one who said, "Oh, let's do this National Geographic." So, Shepard, we said, "Yeah," and, and it's been going around the world. This has been touring around the world. Mm -hmm. um, when was it? Um, September. I was conducting the Malaysian Philharmonic Orchestra, and then the week after my week was National. Was this one? National. I didn't get to conduct it, but um, it was just there. It was just in Macau as well, and I think we're the next stop. Afterwards. It's, it's been going around. Mm -hmm. um, orchestras all over the world have been performing this. First time here in the Philippines. First tapos, time in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Tapos Malaysia and then ano pa yung other country? The pinanggalingan niya was Malaysia and Macau. Alam ko, nag-Melbourne na siya. Um, States, of course, yeah. 
but I, it's been around there. Dun sa website nila, you'll be able to see, uh, I think they have the performance history of the, of the concert. So you'll be able to see exactly where it's been and how long it's been yeah. going. Sir Gerald, ano yung mas difficult on your part? Doing yung ganitong klaseng concert na yung may mga video or yung, yung katulad ng mga previous concerts nyo na, di ba, may mga previous concerts na ginawa kayo. Ano yung mas difficult on your part? Lahat naman may sariling hirap eh. Um, it's not, it's, I don't try to say it, I don't see it kasi as mas mahirap kasi may ganito or mas mahirap dahil may ganyan. It's another challenge. O di umangat ka para abutin yung challenge kung ano yung i-present ng project. Every project naman may challenge. Kahit sabihin mong station ID ng Christmas ng ABS-CBN, there's going to be a challenge with that. No? Um, you just have to rise up and meet it. Kung ano man yun, whatever, kung ano naman yung hamon ng project, di kapitan mo na lang. Hmm. Ano na lang po, last two questions na lang po. Yes, Bali yung una po, kasi parang naupo lang kami rito, we're just listening to the music. Pero parang paano yung nag, parang sinasabi na show must go on kung may nagkamali na hindi, hindi nyo na ano. Parang paano nyo ikonokorek yun during the show or para bang may mga ganun ba na hindi namin nalata? How you... There are what you call ano eh, sa sports they call it game time decision. <laughs> Di ba? You're there, audience is there, the lights are on, what are you gonna do? Um, I think that's already experience. Kasi you've been through it na nangyari na dati, you've come up with a solution that all adds up in your uh, bag of tricks. May punishment po ba yung nagkamali? Hindi naman, hindi naman. And ano, and um, yung kwa naman kasi that's um, nasa akin din yung responsibility ng pagpaprepara ng orchestra. Eh. It falls upon me, it falls upon them to prepare. Um, the yung mas nakakatakot are things that are not in your control which is the film but if it stops okay lang we'll ah, yeah, uh-huh. um, i conducted um, in malaysia din uh, yung film na ratatouille na live in concert no and dahil it was brand new eh brand new yung tech um, i had an ipad that do yung controls for rehearsal where to go what what part of this what scene ko ano ano and the tech wasn't working it was brand new eh, kasusulat lang nung app para dun sa iPad. Um, galing sa States, eh iba yung video, digital format sa Malaysia kaysa sa US. So we were getting this, this digital noise in our, ear, in our earphones all week until the day of the concert. So, ang sabi ko sa orchestra, if something happens to this film, if it stops, we just keep on playing. And we just give them a concert of music. Total, mm-hmm. andyan eh. <laughs> so you, you prepare for certain things you hope it doesn't happen but if it happens what else are you gonna do so if something like you know, something like this we'll just keep on playing so the music's nice naman eh. last na lang on my part is there any ano pa po ba uh, dream collaboration po kayo especially siguro here sa local music or abroad yung mga international music na gusto nyong makakollaborate that they sing and you play this ah. orchestra well at this point ang dami na namin tutugan eh We've played for everyone. We've played for Bocelli, we've played for Il Divo, of course, Leia. I think the only thing na lang that's missing is yung bagong dating natin dito sa ABS is for Regine to have a concert with this orchestra. Mm-hmm. That's that's the next thing, I think. And mm-hmm. I think it'll happen eventually. But um, other than other than that, I know, Sharon's done it with us now. Mr. We did a Mr. C concert already. Um, ah. Gary has performed with us a lot of times, pero pa single do, single song lang, pag ganun lang. Not yet a concert. Not a, not a, not a full out concert with Gary. That's another one. Mm-hmm. So, and you know, they're here. They're in the ABS. Um, most of the ones the one that we've worked with are ABS. Sarah pa, is pa. That's another one. She hasn't done a concert with us yet. So, there's, there's a lot to do. <laughs> Still. Congratulations pala nung concert ni Jed po. Ang galing-galing po nung concert ni Jed. That was, Jed was very deserving of having that concert. He's, if there's one guy who really deserved a concert like that, it was him. So we're, we were very happy to be part of that. Thank you, Sir Gerald.